My name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-R. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here. The HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review. The third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving percentage problems that you will find on page number 31. The percentage problems, the sample problems on page number 31. Please turn to it. Page 31. Page 31. The sample problems. Number one. Number one, there are, there are 10 sample problems on, on the page as you can see there, on page number 31, there are 10 of them. If you feel that after having done those 10 problems, you feel that there is not enough practice, you feel that you need to practice more to get better at, this, at these problems. There are some more videos you can watch. Just type in T is math, day number 13 or 14 or 15. There are three videos there that you can watch where, you, where, you will, where we will solve some more problems dealing with percentages. Or you can go to the, so that, that's the T's, that's the T's series, there are 80 of them there. Day number 13, 14 and 15, as you know, as I pointed out to you many times, the math on the T's and the math on the HESI, the math that you will encounter on the HESI, and the math that the one encounters on the T's, is, uh, they are very similar. They are similar concepts are tested, so very similar things. Do you understand? They are very comparable. In addition to that, we have a basic, ser basic math series where you can watch day number 31 through 40. If you don't want to watch all of all of those 10 videos because they do become more complicated and in the T's the math percentage problems do not actually get that complicated. If you watch first five that should suffice. That should be more than sufficient. Just watch 31 through 31 through 35. Let's get going. First question is asking us what is 15? What is 15 out of 75 as a percent? We could actually do it out, we could actually do it out, uh, set it up in a very geeky way, in a, a very nerdy way like we did yesterday, or we can just look at it in a simple way. What is 15 out of 75? That's just 15 out of 75. Let's, let's divide top and bottom by 5. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. 15 has 3 5, so that was very easy. How many 5s does 7 have? 7 has 1 5. 7 has 1 5. The remaining two goes and joins the 5 and becomes 25, and 25 has 5 fives. In other words, 15 times 5 is 75. So now we end up with 15 at the bottom, we end up with 3 on the top, let's divide top and bottom by 3. 3, 3 has 1 3, and 15 has 5 3. In other words, in other words, 15 out of 75 is same as 1 over 5, 1 fifth. 1 fifth, you have to know your fifths. For this exam, you have to know your fifths, you have to know your tenths, you have to know your quarters, you have to know your eighths, you have to know your thirds. Now, in the event that you do not know your fifths, in the event that you have trouble remembering what each of the fifths are, are equal to in terms of percentages and decimals, one fifth, two fifth, three fifth, if you do not remember it, it's very simple. We have one over, fi one over five, one over five, if you multiply top and bottom by two, if you multiply top and bottom by two, you end up with one times two, which is two, and 5 times 2 is 10, 2 over 10. I hope you are able to see now, you, I hope that you know your tenths. 2 tenths is just 0.2, 2 tenths is just 0.2, but we can't leave it like that. They are asking us as a percentage, not as a decimal. Question is, what is 15 out of 75 as a percent, not a decimal? As a percent, 0.2 is 20%, or 2 out of 10 is 20%. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Number 2. Number two is asking us what is two out of fifty as a percent? What is two out of fifty as a percent? Two out of fifty. This is actually a very straightforward question because, because we understand what the word percent means. What does the word percent mean? We talked about it yesterday, we talked about it on day number 41, 42, 43. We begin the percentage concept of percentages from day number 41 and we've been talking about it. What does percent, what does the word percent mean? Percent means exactly what it says. Percent means per 100. 
the word percent literally means per 100 or if you like out of 100 percent means out of 100 so when you're trying to convert a given fraction into a percent your job come on more time if you somebody asks you to convert a fraction into a percentage your job should be to ask yourself how can I how can I make the bottom how can I make the denominator 100 or something as close to 100 as possible as quickly as possible how can I convert this bottom number into 100 well it's very simple it's a 50 if you want 50 into if you want to convert 50 into 100 just multiply the bloody thing by 2 now since you multiply the bottom by 2 we must multiply the top by 2 so that so that we're taking our 2 fifths and multiplying it by 2 over 2 which is 1 we're not changing anything so that's it, we are done. 2 times 2 is 4, and 50 times 2 is 100, and there you go. Now we have the bottom which is 100 out of 100, and therefore 4 out of 100 is simply 4%. The question was, what is 2 out of 50 as a percent? The answer is 2 out of 50, 2 out of 50 is 4%. Because 2 out of 50, because 2 out of 50 is same as 4 out of 100. That's all. Let's do the next one. Number 3. What is 20 out of 100 as a percent? What is 20 out of 100 as a percent? That's a damn silly question. What is 20 out of 100 as a percent? Well, 20 out of 100. What does, what does the word percent mean? Percent means, percent means out of 100. Well, we already have 100 at the bottom. Since we already have 100 at the bottom, Whatever we see on the top, that's the percent. 20 out of 100 is simply 20%. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number four. Number four is equally silly. Number four is a bloody silly thing. It's asking us what is 28% of 100? What is, what is 28% of 100? What is 28% of 100? 28% of 100 is just 28. 50% of 100 is 50. 10% of 100 is 10. 14% of 100 is 14. Why? Because percent means out of 100. So if you ask me what is 28% of 200 or what is 28% of 105, that's a different story. Because then you have to figure out how do, how do I trans translate that into a ratio of something out of 100. But this is already out of 100. They're asking us what is 28% of 100. The answer is 28. 28% of 100 is 28. That was question number 4. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.